you grab some of these little squares from Dollar Tree. Now they have these at Michael's too, but those are big. I prefer that y'all get these and some tower blocks and build. Now I purchased something similar. It's a, a plant stand. And I was like, that'll be cute. But I've already glued it together and you can see because of how the tower blocks are, it, was, it wasn't lining up right to fit the, the cylinder. So um, I had to use some of the square blocks in conjunction with the tower blocks to get it to line up right. So this is it just glued together and just spray painted silver. And I was thinking about putting some mirror towels on the outside and on the side. Um, you can also use just some regular bling. And I was thinking about just adding some crushed glass to this one. So you can display it so many different ways. So what you want to do is start out with six blocks. And you want to glue those six blocks together. Make sure it's straight. Okay, so now you have this side. Now you wanna take six more, but you're gonna do three on each side. And you wanna put it right in the center. So now you should have this. Let me make sure it's straight. <laughs> so now we have this. Now here's the part that's a little bit tricky. Now on these particular ones, one, two, three, one, two, three. Not the six in a row, but the two, I mean the three on each side of that one row. You need to add a tower block. but you want to add it to where it sticks off a little bit. You need a little bit of extra room. It's not even. And you want to do the same thing on the opposite side. So this goes on the outside. Okay, there we go. There we go. The six in a row, you want to put the tower blocks, blocks on the end, and then the ones that's on the other side. You got three here, three here. You put the tower blocks on top. Add one to the top of each block. Now they won't be even and that's fine because it looks cool this way. You can actually add like three on one side if you want to do it like stair steps. You can do it different. And I'm sure a lot of y'all will do it different. Y'all put your own little take on it. But if you want to do it exactly the way that I'm doing mine, that's fine too. But you will need to follow the base the way that I'm doing it. So it's going to take a few minutes for this to completely dry. So once it dries, you just flip it over. And then just add a tower block. Like this has been flipped over and just add a tower block. 
to each part to make a leg like that. It's simple. Okay, so y'all see that these two are longer. I'll just set these on here to As you guys know, I built this on my live crafts and cocktails and I didn't finish decorating. I partially decorated this one and I'm going to finish it on this side so you'll see but just to remind you this is what it looked like before I decorated it. So the decorations are simple. I'm simply going to use some mirror tiles and some bling wrap. And I also have my high glue gun that I'll be using to glue the bling wrap on with. So it's simple, all you need to do is measure. Now because this is not really smooth all the way down, like here I'm going to use two pieces. It's going to measure about three rows across. And then I'm going to use my X-Acto knife to cut it. You guys always work with my window open, so if you hear the traffic outside, please I apologize ahead of time. So what I'm going to do is See where I need to cut this. I could just really just tear this. And then this piece goes here. So my mirror towels, they come with adhesive on the back, but sometimes it's not strong enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of this uh, Dollar Tree Fix All to help it stay permanent. And I went ahead and did the insides of the bottom as well. Did I do all four? Yeah, I think I went ahead and did all four. All right. So next, I'm simply going to add some bling on the side. And now I'll just repeat this on the same side. Now to finish it off, I'll add some mirror tiles here. All right, so I decided I wanted to make it a little bit more decorative. And here I have a brooch. Let's see if we can get that to focus. All right, there we go, from totallydazzled.com. So all I need to do is remove the back and then glue it onto here. Pliers or snippers and just pull it right off. Look at that, it comes right off. I've already removed the backs from these, so I have four in all. So what I wanna do is just simply glue these on here, just like that. Isn't it cute? I would mix some um, Gorilla Glue with this, but I've already used this. And I don't want to mix these fumes together, so I'm just going to go ahead and use some hot glue. Just like that. Same thing. Fill in that little cavity with hot glue, and then put some right outside that cavity. what it looks like with the glass in place. So now I want to just go ahead and make this a set. 
I'm going to glue some ear towels around this. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten rows. And because gluing something like this on here can be a little tricky, I'm going to just cut it into smaller sections and then glue it in place. Now it does pretty good with sticking to glass. So I really don't need to add any extra adhesive. That's the thing with every towel, sometimes you have a little bit of a gap. So I'm simply going to close that up with some green grip. And we are done. So all I need to do now is clean the glass put it on display. So I like it to go. I'm really loving the way this looks. There's so many things you can do with it. You can make this a little bit more decorative if you want to, but I like the simplicity of just the mirrors and the bling and a little bit of extra detail around here. Everyone, this completes my DIY. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. Don't forget to comment, share, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. It's absolutely free. Okay, everyone, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.